Um, so amongst uh, Jonathan and Storm and myself, are you being the musicians that we are, often sit around and talk about the artists where occasionally we, we see, hear a song and we think, God damn it, I wish I wrote that. <laughs> Our next performer has about 167 of them. <laughs> Amongst her many, many accomplishments, author, comedian, graduate of, I believe, the Tisch School of the Arts at New York University, she is the co-creator, co-writer, and star of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, which ran for four seasons on the CW. It is my distinct and genuine thrill to announce that coming on the Joko Cruise stage right now, please welcome Rachel Blue. Shout out to Tisch School of the Arts. That's how I want to lead with everything. Let's all lead with our colleges. Oh my God, Joko Cruz, I'm so excited to be here. Hello. Um, they, they asked me to do this cruise, uh, like this is not the first time uh, this first year I was asked, but the first year I was available. You're gonna hear that, oh that's some ASMR for anyone who wants that. Um, uh, and, and for the past couple years I'm like, wow, they really want me for this cruise. Why do they want me for this cruise so much? And then I looked at the schedule and I saw RPG games every night and not one but two polyamory meetups. And I was like, oh, I get it. I, 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 I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yep. Horny nerds. Yep, okay. Uh, I was at the airport coming here and a guy came up to me, unaffiliated with this cruise, and he goes, Hi, Rachel, I just have to say, um, I'm a neurodivergent bisexual magician. <laughs> and I laughed, not because of the intro, but because the look on his face uh, indicated that he thought he was the first person to ever introduce himself this way to me. And I was like, oh, honey, half my fans are neurodivergent bisexual magicians. Like, you look in any of my given crowd, and there's a guy with... Uh, doing card tricks, boyfriend on the right, girlfriend on the left, presto, battle of Ivans. Um, it's just everyone. I, I have a real, I am a horny neurodivergent nerd, and I have, a, I have a very strong connection to this community because the first thing that I became known for basically was written for this community. So to start off my set, I'm going to sing that song. Nominated for the Hugo Awards in 2011, and I was robbed by an episode of Doctor Fucking Who. <laughs> and I'm still here, but Doctor Who's not on the air anymore. No, still on the air, right? Sorry. It's still on the air. Well, I still won. <laughs> Steve called me up and said, wanna hang out tonight? We could see Zone of Interest or just grab a bite. I said, oh Steve, you're cute, but a movie's not what I need. Especially not a Holocaust movie, that's sad. No offense, but I'd rather stay home.
ejaculate on a book. <laughs> <laughs>